Listen here, man. Jaron Boots Ennis, shout out to Philly. The kid is a monster. He's a beast. His opponent just came in over three pounds heavy, and Ennis still wants to end this. Bars. I said Ennis still want to end this. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego. And I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash app, and the Patreon family. We working. Listen, ESPN Plus pay-per-view UFC is going down. Tyron Woodley, Covington. It should be a good fight. If you're ordering that fight or you want ESPN or ESPN Plus pay-per-view, Use my link in the description. It does help the channel grow in a phenomenal way. Now, also great ways to help the channel is to hit the like button, subscribe, and become a YouTube channel member or join the Patreon family. Now, I got to talk about the kid from Philly, Jaron Boots Ennis. He came in shape. This is a picture of him. He's fighting at the Mohegan Sun tomorrow on Showtime. Great card. They have Nyan BR, a.k.a. King Tug who gave Gary Russell Jr., you know, a competitive fight. I thought Gary Russell won the fight for sure, but uh, King Tug was in there. He didn't get too discouraged early when Gary was looking super sharp. Gary started to fade in, like, um, the later rounds where he, he looked a bit tired fighting the bigger man off. But, you know, he was he banked a lot of the early rounds and was still, you know, picking his shots. He, his punch output just dropped. But I like what I seen from King Tug. He's a Mongolian fighter. I'm definitely looking forward to him. And to open the Showtime telecast, you have the kid you see on screen, Jaron Boots Ennis. And he's looking in shape. Welterweight. His opponent, as you guys see here, Abreu from the DR, came in over three pounds heavy. Not a good look, um, you know, for social distancing reasons. They have um, them far, far apart. But this is a good card, man. The main event, Erickson Lubin versus Terrell Goucher. Again, Saturday, tomorrow, September 19th, only on Showtime. So make sure you guys tune in to your local programming for that. Come back to my channel, too, because I'll be talking about it. But I'm really excited about this kid, uh, Jaron Ennis. He's a dog. I've been raving about him for a while. I, I told you, I, I don't say this lightly, but I see some Roy Jones Jr.-esque things that he does, that he's capable of doing athletically. He's, he's just a gifted kid. Obviously, he hasn't done what Roy has done in the sport, but he looks to. But this kid's a dog, you know. He comes from a fight town like Philly, and he's stepping up. This Juan Carlos Abreu has been in there with a ton of people and never been stopped. Let me pull up his. See, this is Abreu. He's been in there. His record is 23-5-1. So out of all of his fights, he's had 30 fights and got 21 knockouts. So this is a, a step up because he's a 70% puncher with a good resume, never been stopped. If Jaron Ennis can stop him, that's going to be super impressive because Mean Machine, who just, in my opinion, um, dropped Terrence Crawford, and I got to say in my opinion because the referee obviously didn't agree and he didn't count it as a, as a knockdown. But Mean Machine gave Crawford a pretty tough fight, hurt Crawford, in my opinion, and dropped him. He definitely dropped him early. This dude, Abreu, had fought Mean Machine in 2018, another puncher, and he lost a unanimous decision in Fresno. You see right there? So he has some losses, but he's never been stopped. He's also fought um, Alexander Besputin, who was a ranked guy. So he's been in there with some names. Mean Machine, Aegis Kavalaskis, Alexander Besputin. Um, who else? Alex Martin, he has a split decision loss. Jamal James, who just fought... Thomas Delorme, he has some punching power, very tall for the weight. And none of these guys were able to stop him. So if Jaron Ennis can fight this guy who's been in there with some quality names from Pablo Cesar Cano, who has power, stopped Jorge Linares, gave tough fights to Pauli Malinaji, things like that, fought Shane Mosley, guys who are punchers and um, good fighters as well, like Jamal James. We've seen him on PBC recently. He beat and knocked out Jesus Soto Caraz, right? I remember that fight. Uh, mean Machine beat him but couldn't stop him. Then he lost to Alexander Besputin, couldn't stop him. Things like that. So if Jaron Ennis can pull the trigger and get this guy out of here, it'll be impressive. It'll be even more so impressive because this guy missed weight by 
three and a quarter pounds. So Jaron Ennis is such a dog and such a beast. He don't care. He He's allowing. He just changed the weight. He just said, all right, we'll just fight at 151. True scrapper. Okay. What they talking about? Uh. Oops. Smash the like button. Let's get it. So I'm 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 ready for this one. Um, he fought Ayubov, who fought my dude. I'm from the Bay Area, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, he fought my dude, Kareem Mayfield. Kareem Mayfield, I thought, beat him, but they robbed him. But Jaron Ennis was able to, to fight him, and he's a power puncher as well. And he, he stopped Ayubov. So I like this mentality that Jaron Ennis has. Again, he's putting himself... You don't see guys who are showing this type of promise, and usually early in their career, sub subjecting themselves to a disadvantage. Like some fights would be canceled when a guy comes in three pounds overweight. This is not like the heavyweight division where you just got to fight anyone, any, any weight. This is supposed to be a welterweight fight at 147. He's not even trying to make weight, you know, because they gave him two hours and he came back. He was the same weight. So I think um, that's part of the game plan for Abreu. He knows this kid is dangerous and he's going to maybe try to walk him down or use the added weight plus rehydration to try to make a statement you know in his experience and stuff like that so i can't wait this is going to be a really good fight to see if jaron ennis you know he's putting himself at the deficit with the allowing his opponent to strategize and come in heavy and not even try to make weight so that's shamed and, and frowned upon in the world of boxing but if he could show out that's going to give him even more credit there's the ayu ball fight right there shout out to trap photos my girl trap photos with the iconic looking photo of jaron boots ennis so shout out to Philly and Boots. He's a real warrior. Again, he's put himself at an unnecessary disadvantage. I don't know if he's getting compensated monetarily or financially because his opponent missed weight by three pounds, three and a half. Almost, you know, we've seen this with Danny Jacobs and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Jacobs, that's my guy, true consummate professional, and Chavez Jr. wasn't. So sometimes dudes do that for a strategy. Another friend of the channel, Andre Ward, he's experienced this in his career. Edwin Rodriguez, Paul Smith. These guys, some sometimes they know they're not more skilled than you, so that becomes part of the strategy. Like, nah, I'm going to come in with this added weight advantage and break the contract. I'd rather pay out some money or, you know, get it the ugly way. So let me know what you guys have seen or heard from Jaron Ennis. He definitely makes the welterweight division very exciting. And salute to him for just being a warrior and taking on a foe who was unprofessional and missed weight. Use my links below. Let me know how I did on this video. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Sign out. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind the scenes docu-series like Bruce Lee's Be Water and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Come and watch my fight. Floyd Mayweather, easy work. I'm rich. And Manny Pacquiao. Uh, yes, it's up to my promoter. Do, 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 do. Just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos. Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.